All right, I want to destroy Apocalypse so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I thought about today. We're just beating him. Um, okay, so I want slice and dice. I'm pretty sure rules people check me. If I do this with Wolverine's Claw, just the first one gets piercing. I don't think it really matters for my play, but I think rules-wise, just FYI. Um, then do we play X-Jet? Unfortunately, I'll miss most of the stream, but I want to wish you good luck. Love the enemies in this box a lot. Appreciate it, Steven. Interested in giant size. Uh, they're going to do a Wasp and Ant-Man special board, so I'm waiting for that just to let you know. Nice. I do have a big one. I know a lot of other people are. All right, so regenerative healing we don't need at all. Feral doesn't make sense yet. Blindfold isn't bad. Wake up, drink Red Bull, Red Bull uh, beat Apocalypse. All right, so we dumped three. We could get this. All right, we're going to get rid of all four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have some choices now, chat. We have choices. Okay. So... I wanted the X jet, but it's hard to say say no to the skeleton, right? I mean, you can't you can't not say no to that. So, two. Tough, tough little pickle. All right, so I'm gonna flip up to Logan or Wolverine. Sorry, I was Logan. Now I'm gonna be Wolverine. Um, all right, let's, let's dump two cards to player skeleton. I feel like we just, we just got to make that happen. Uh, so we get four hit points, one, two, three, four, which is huge. We get plus one attack, which is also huge. Uh, but more importantly, we get piercing, which is monstrous. Okay, so I am going to use Wolverine's Claws to play Slice and Dice so that we get Piercing. Uh, so we lose, what, three life? One, two, three. X-Jet to play Skeleton? Uh, no, it would not work out. I don't think so, at least. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'd be one card short. I would have to not use Slice and Dice. Uh, slice and Dice. Right? Three, four. Yeah, if I didn't use Slice and Dice, I could do it. But I want to play this because I want to get rid of Mr. Sinister. So the first attack would be Piercing. Uh, so it goes through the tough. Does three damage. We get Retaliate one. And then we do three damage again. Uh, but we don't get Retaliate that time. So we did get Retaliate for the one. So we're down to ten life again, which is cool. You have your one card off. Oh, well, for that, yeah, yeah. All right, so he's he's in the victory display. He's done. We have to worry about that. A two separate attack. Only the first one gets piercing from the claws. There we go, man. All right, so now I think can we uh, for my copy uh, ship? Welcome, armor sword. Hopefully, you're doing well. Appreciate it. These are facts. Don't be rash. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm actually going to thwart the two off a of gene pool. And the reason being is because whenever it's three is when it starts triggering things. So if it's at two, we should be like goodish, right? So let's ready up. I'm uh, going to get rid of Colossus. I'm going to hold on to under surveillance. I think it's going to help in the long run, I hope. Two, three, four, five. All right. Double with track by scent is massive for us because we should be able to clear one of these at least. Uh, probably gene pool. And then uh, be able to draw cards. Because it's not defeating a scheme because we can't defeat it. But we just have to remove the last threat from this game, which is nice. All right. Uh, all right. So in the beginning, one goes on to here. Now. I'm sorry. Two goes on to there. I can't count because Heart of the Empire before I forget. After an ally is defeated. Okay. We don't have to worry about that. It's a one defeat. We don't have to worry about that. When Apocalypse will be defeated. Don't worry about that. Okay. So we're good. Apocalypse is going to attack me. I'm going to take the hit. Swing for two. You are confused. Oh, well, that's a pain. Uh, so two damage on the Wolverine. One, two. Lily says pool card. I know, right? Uh, oh, look at that. All right. So guard comes out. Which is fine. Um, and then we don't do anything else because we took off of the gene pool, which is why we did this strategy. So that works out well. All right, cool. First thing we got to do is heal. 
healer two. So back up to 10. All right, I do want to run track by scent. So we're going to have to uh, exhaust to remove the confuse. And then turn this music down. Use a double to play track by scent. Remove three threat uh, from a scheme. Um, let's remove it from Age of Apocalypse. That is the last of the threat in the scheme. So then we get to draw two cards. Oh, lunging strike. Oh, wait, he has guard though. Ooh. All right, so it would be inefficient, or so I'm told, to lunging strike that. Um, okay, so I could do Berserker Barrage. Do we really want to take three damage? We could flip down. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Actually, I don't even know if we need to do Lunging Strike. Well, we save Lunging Strike. And push through... Well, we can't push through yet. We push through Heart of the Empire and get a pre-late minion. We can kill it. But we could do Berserker Barrage. Ugh. But we lose Lunging Strike. Pause for um, Berserker and Under Surveillance. So we did Claws for that. Oh, and then use these two for Under Surveillance to hold on to Lunging. I don't hate that. I do kind of want to flip down. If we put under surveillance on, which I think we might do. All right, I like that. So let's use the claws, take our two damage. One, two. Uh, deal four damage to enemy, knocks him out. I'm not going to take the other four because our other two damage do four into that because there's no sense to. So that's fine. So that uses that. And then we're going to dump two cards to play under surveillance on here. And then let's uh, flip down. All right, and then we'll ready up. We're going to hold on the lunging strike. Two, three, four five six all right cool so the whole reason i have lay the trap in here actually is for um what's her face um what, what, what the heck is her name uh jessica jones because jessica jones will be able to thwart for four with gene pool whatever this one is and then lay the trap right so i don't even want to clear lay the trap unless it's at the very end uh but that's my strategy there because she could thwart for four and keep everything in check is roughly what i'm thinking so all right, so let's put uh, two onto here because one of them is from here. Apocalypse is going to scheme for two, three, four. So that brings us up to six. We got our bad card, which is past demons. Exhaust Logan, or we could be stunned and confused. Um, I guess we'll exhaust Logan, right? Makes the most sense. Yeah, let's exhaust Logan. That's fine. All right, cool. Now it's our turn. We couldn't get to heal, which stinks, but I think we'll survive. I think we'll survive, Chad um okay so let's flip up let's dump two four justices to play track by scent to remove three threat i think we're going to go with heart of the empire i think we're going to be a little aggressive the first player reveals a random set aside per 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 third one down is the shadow king man he's been my nemesis comes in with tough okay um, this flips over, comes in with three, and a one defeated, which is fine. All right, and then we get to draw two cards. Come on, be good, be good, be good, be good. Okay, not the worst thing I've had. All right, I'm actually thinking what we do is we, we lunging strike and throw Wiccan in because I want someone else to get hit in the face instead of me so I can heal maybe. Uh, oh, obligation does get removed. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whiffin is goaded, so that's obviously something we want to think about. All right, so we're going to remove three of our life. One, two, three. Ouch. I'm going to deal eight damage. It will pierce and knock out the Shadow King and will overkill onto Apocalypse. He Apocalypse does not get pierced. It just runs into his top, right? Pierce happens only in the first one, not the rest of them. So at least he doesn't have a top, which is something. 
All right, we're going to throw away uh, two cards to play Whiffin. And then let's uh, thwart Whiffin, or thwart with Whiffin. Thwart with Whiffin. Whiffin. Okay. Uh, one off of here. And then deal damage to enemy with boost card numbers, which is zero. Okay, cool. <laughs> Lay the trap. Um, we'll throw away for now. All right, let's ready up. Whiffin's probably going to take a uh, punch in the face. Two, three, four, five. The word spot on, really spot on? I know, right? Best island in the game. It amuses me how much, no matter if I'm watching someone else, I'm playing the amount of times Whiffin gets zero. You could be running a deck with an average of 2.8 boost icons, right? Something ridiculous. It will be zero. Nick Fury. Have I not got my doubles yet? Or just one of them? I got one. Okay. So we got Nick. We got Endurance, which I would like to run. Regenerative Healing, I would like to run. I have, We might actually not play Nick. All right. We'll worry about that in a little bit. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to go up to eight. Five, six, seven... Now, normally, oh no, this wouldn't pop yet. It normally be very close to popping. Um, so hit points. So it's normally nine, but it's 10, 11, 12, 13 right now. It's actually mind blowing. Not playing Nick, I know, but endurance is huge and healing is huge. That's my that's my thought process right now. And a part of me would rather have healing and endurance than anything else. Just saying. Okay, so we put enough on that. Apocalypse is going to attack. Whiffin's going to take it to the face. Two. It's going to be three boost icons, right? We all agree on this? Okay, just one. That's not so bad. But it knocks out Whiffin. He doesn't have overkill or anything, right? No. Uh, but we have to put three on here. Before I forget, that was our first ally knocked out, I think. That was our first ally knocked out. I don't think we played any allies. More than zero. Back card is Culling the Weak. Place four threat on Gene Pool. Well, that just got a little more intense. Okay. Uh, place three threat. So that's up to seven, eight, nine on there. Do not like. All right. So I'm going to start this. Heal up two. Up to seven. Gene Pool rules. Yeah. I agree with Gene Pool. I struggle. But you can take it out of this, which is kind of nice. <laughs> All right, do we play Nick? We'll draw three cards. How many regenerative healings does he have? Does he only have one? He does have two. We would lose the endurance, which stinks. But did we get rid of a regenerative healing yet? Uh, oh, no, we did in the very beginning. We play Nick. We draw three cards. Maybe something good happens. What that would be, I don't know. But we do have a block. Maybe we get a lunging strike. And we can make a play toward that. Alright, let's do Nick. Chat chat mocked me. We're not doing it. So with the way four, draw a three. These better be three good cards, chat. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> draw random with doesn't kill him. I was on your side for endurance and healing. You, no one talked loud enough. <laughs> All right. So honorary X-Men, we can put onto Wolverine against one life. Or we can have, we could do some massive attack. That's actually what we could do and clear out Age of Apocalypse, right? Because it's only nine. So we put in Jubilee. She would swing for three. We would swing for five. That's seven, eight, nine. We could actually not knock out Apocalypse to clear this out, which might be our best move. I think we do it. I think we do it. Throw away two cards. Your Jubilee and Nicholas Fury in. Heiser, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Be thankful I'm here at all. I'm always thankful. All right, so after Jubilee enters play, choose the enemy. I choose you, Apocalypse. Until the end of the phase, while Wolverine and Jubilee is making a basic attack, they get plus two. So Ju Jubilee, swing for three. One, two, three. Nicholas. Swings for two. And then I swing for two. Oh, no, we won't take him out because we only have three life. Is that it? Oh, no, no, three, four, five. That's what it is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, when Apocalypse would be defeated, discard each attachment from him. Okay. Heal all damage from him instead. So he's back up to nine. 
And then remove X threat here from this scheme. X is his hit points. That'd be nine, right? Yeah. So five, six, seven, eight. So all the threat gets removed. At least we get to clear that out. Actually, kind of happy with that. So, all right, let's ready up. That's solid. Two, three, four, five. Ramps up. Yeah. All right. Double under surveillance. We don't need lunging strike. I get better. Slice the dice. I might. Uh, I got better. Might be the way to go with the lunging strike. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So this goes up two, three. Apocalypse is going to attack. Nicholas is going to take it to the face. So it's going to be two plus nothing. cool okay nicholas is gone bad card is uh attach to apocalypse of course games retaliate and stall all right so here's the thing i kind of just want to knock him out then <laughs> is that so wrong oh wait we have to heal too I feel like I want to just take out Apocalypse again to remove the attachment because Retaliate's going to mess us up, right? And maybe we flip down again. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use this. One, two, three. Play Lunging Strike. Deal eight damage. And then let's actually... Uh, Let's actually have Jubilee knock herself out and take out the last uh, hit point. So he's back up to nine. He loses this, loses that, clears this off. Just punch him in the face. <laughs> um, okay, and then we will dump a double, three, four to play I Got Better in case we get knocked out. And then we're gonna flip down, we're gonna heal six. Two, three, four, five, six. So we're up to 12 out of 14. All right, let's ready up. Five. Let's shuffle up. We want blood. Shmilak, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Organized my box yesterday. Super excited to play through. Nice. Not sure I've ever seen that. Dude, it doesn't happen often. But we know how things can go. So. Oops. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we got. Uh, a double. Oh, X gonna give it. <laughs> what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Oh, we can get X to clear this. Hmm, that's not gonna work the way I want, but that's okay. All right, we'll figure that out. Out of control, how are you doing? Hopefully, you're doing well. <laughs> all right two three apocalypse is going to scheme for two plus nothing let's go so that's up to five total so it's three four five uh two bad cards because you want the best there ever was agreed diamond's edge hopefully you're doing well man uh this card wait does it search i can't read it camera focus gain search oh my god i hate this card two three all right, we're we'll revealed. Discard cards from the encounter deck until a Dark Riders minion is discarded and reveal it. Oh, there goes Shadow. Dark Riders is one of the worst freaking cards out there. I hate it so much. At least we're getting rid of Infinite. All right, Dark Riders comes in. Because of a T work. Attacks, we're going to be stunned. And he gets toughness. New strategy. Got to get rid of that. Just don't be a Dark Riders card. Calling the weak. Place four threat in gene pool. Well, this is going poorly. Do I even bother with it anymore? <laughs> All right, we need to knock out Tusk for sure. Okay. Okay. Oof. Okay. Let's flip up. What I'm thinking is we pierce the tough 
deal three damage. Are you going to play Magic Bishop, etc.? I don't know yet. I remember the panel because he was just a brain and spy. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, to be honest. Besides, you know. Two, three. Okay, yeah, we can't do it that way. All right, let's dump two cards for Berserker Barrage. Deal four damage. Knocks out Tusk. Um, I'm not going to take two damage to redo it because I don't need to. And then we're going to do a double and a regular to ready up Wolverine. Uh, X going to give it to you. He readies up from X. Sorry, I should have explained that. And then X is going to exhaust to get rid of Dark Riders because I do not want to deal with that. And then we're going to thwart two off of this one. So I want this to go down soon. Then we're ready up. What's going on with the gene pool side scheme? Uh, we cared about it for a little bit. Three, four, five. And then we stopped caring about it. <laughs> just, just hoping that it doesn't you know, bite us. Oh, we got whiffing again. So that's good. Surely that won't backfire in our faces. It's doing things that genes do. Pretty much. All right, three goes on the here. Uh, two, three. Down at this point, yeah. I would have to get a lot of good thwarting cards in a row, which is just not, it's not in the cards. We think it could clear gene pool. I mean, with one, yeah, I guess. So this is at five, six, seven, eight, but the total is at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, just FYI. So we're still good. Uh, X gonna take this to three, four, five. Out of here. Don't be trash. Don't be trash. The prelate minion activates against you. Otherwise, Apocalypse activates against you. All right, Apocalypse is going to attack. I'm just going to take the hit. So it's going to be uh, two. Give the prelate minion a tough status card. Otherwise, give Apocalypse a tough status. Yeah, he can have a tough. That's fine. Two damage. One, two. And with that being done, we will now heal two. Silly Apocalypse. All right. So. First thing we got to do. For the boys, throw away two cards, play Whiffin. Whiffin is going to thwart one. Get rid of Towering Citadel. In doing so, we got to get uh, another prelate out here. Third one down, which is just the bottom one, is Sugar Man. I don't think we've gotten Sugar Man yet. This comes in with four. Sugar man. Comes in with tough. That ain't gonna matter in a second. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. All right, so. Oh, uh, we have to flip a card uh, for, for this. Two, we're doing off the tough and there's a reason for that. Y'all should know. We're gonna take three damage. One, two, three. We pierce through this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Dude, lunging strike for the win. And then, uh, what's he got? Six life left? So that's going to be five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that would that would pop it. And what's it coming next? Steady and tough swinging three with ten life. Or I could thwart. Keep that down and keep it at least one more round from popping. I assume under surveillance stays if this pops, right? I assume. It's not leaving play. Exception of Gene Pool Wolverine seems to be a uh, handless scenario. I know, right? It just shows how incredibly strong Wolverine is. And I'm not even that. This deck was thrown together. All right, so if we let that pop. New Apocalypse is going to come in, and me doing damage won't make a difference. So I could thwart two to keep this down. And then if we get rid of it. Well, hmm. Maybe we let that go, so Apocalypse 3 comes in. Actually, that's what we might do. We might... Because we there's a good chance we get... Well, we could hold in the four Justice to make sure we have a thwart card. And then we'd be able to remove threat from here. Let this pop. Let new apocalypse come in. Because why not? He's going to just go into that. 
and then we just make a hard push at the end. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to thwart two off of Tyrant's Throne. So we might as well make the push for the end. I'm going to hold on to four justice, and we're going to ready back up. What does Gene Pool do? It basically affects infinite soldiers. Uh, so if they start coming in, I'm going to have some massive problems. But we did throw away a bunch of them, so I'm hoping I'm okay. Two, three, four, five. Not at all what I wanted. <laughs> like terrible hands but that's okay all right so this is going to advance right so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and it's out of no it's out of 13 it's out of 13 d20 can't count right five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and the total is nine ten eleven twelve thirteen let's go d20 can't count all right Whiffin's gonna take this to the face so it's gonna be a two Attached to the Apocalypse. So after Apocalypse Schemes. All right, we'll have to pay attention to that. Bad card is, just don't be an infinite. Okay, that's fine. After Hard Drive attacks, you place one threat in the main scheme. I don't even care about that. It doesn't even affect me. Okay. Then we'll come out because it'll be really rough. Yeah, it's not going to be great. So if we get this down, well, I want to get rid of that too. We could get Colossus out there to help us. Oh, I got to heal too. We could actually let him advance the scheme. Because who cares, right? Does he have six life? If we do four, no, nah, four justice doesn't make sense. All right, let's dump three cards to play Colossus. He comes in with tough and he will be our blocker, which will be nice, hopefully. Um. If we do Tyrant's Throne, that at least all slows down. So we can actually thwart Tyrant's Throne, let this advance, and flip down, right? Okay, so if we do Tyrant's Throne, it's going to get a prelay out there, but that's fine. We flip down, let a bunch of scheming happen because who cares? Because it won't pop twice. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. And this way, we'll have a blocker and go a little nuts. Hopefully, I'm gonna thwart two off a of tyrant stone. Okay. First player reveals a random set aside. Uh, prelate. Uh, okay. Slip down with Colossus, 11 HP, and I got better. Yeah. Because I've died before. All right, me Rasputin. Oh no, there's two Rasputins out here. That seems bad. Comes with tough. Speed attacks you, deal one damage to your identity. Okay, that's fine. All right, so he's no longer worthy. Attach to Apocalypse and heal five damage from him. Uh, well, he only heals three, right? Because he just maxes three life. He cannot take damage while it's a pre late minion play. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to flip down and get rid of regenerative healing. And let's ready up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, lunging strike. <coughs> All right, slice and dice is a thing. Okay. All right, this goes up by one, which means this now advances. So, when the main scheme is completed, remove all threat from it. Okay. Remove this card in the game and reveal Apocalypse 3. Apocalypse 3 comes in with steady and tough. All right, cool. So he's going to scheme for two, three, four. Two, four. Now, after Apocalypse Schemes, place one threat in each side scheme. Sure, why not? Just add to that collection. He's going to scheme two. He's going to scheme two. Uh, so it's two, four, six, eight. It'd be eight total. And then bad card is just don't, don't be, don't be a gene pool card. 
Okay, that's whatever. All right, so he advanced, or I'm sorry, he activates, which is a scheme of one, which is fine. Okay. Cool. We are going to flip up. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have to take out the prelate. We could slice and dice. Yeah, let's slice and dice. So let's do three damage. One, two, three. Pierce this. Deal three, and then deal three more. Get rid of him, so he can he can get hit now. Uh, what's he got? Nine life. Okay. I'm gonna two, three, four. Play Feral. I'm actually going to get rid of Chuck by saying because we don't need it. Um, I'm going to pierce the tough and deal three damage. One, two, three. Feral is going to deal two damage. One, two, right? Because it's just prelate. They're just dark riders. So I think that's fine. All right, cool. Prelate and I'm used to my... It amused me during the FFG stream they said both prelate and prelate because nobody knows. No one knows. Do you have a link for the deck you're using? I sure do. D20 actually does well and people are like, what is he doing? What's he using? All right, let's get our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you have prelate. Uh, okay, so we got Nicholas. Nicholas. All right, so this goes up by just one, which is weird. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of 14. So that's fine. Apocalypse is going to attack. Tough, tough Colossus is going to take this. So it's going to be three. Give the prelate minion a tough size. Otherwise, give it to him. That's fine. All right, so it runs into his tough. So we don't have to worry about that. Hard drive will attack first and deal one damage. I will take the one and place one threat on each scheme. So one, one. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Barrage is going to deal two. I'm just going to take the two. And then we deal one damage to each character. Which is fine. I have five life left. Perfect. Last card is... Oh, God. Come on. All right. So they get Quick Strike. Surge and lots of life. It's the last one, chat. Zom Kyoti, welcome. That gave me the most trouble, well, except for one game where Dark Beast just brutalized me by getting... <laughs> All right, so his do quick strike of two damage. I'm going to just take the hit. That's fine. One, two. And then he surges and he gets three hit points. So we'll worry about what the surge is in a second. Apocalypse gains retaliate and stalwart. That's fine. Don't even care about that. All right, so now we win. Now we win. It's pre-li-ti. Pre pre I like that. One, two, three, four for Nick Fury. Oh, sorry. We have to heal too. One, two. And draw all three cards. Spider-Man, Slice and Dice, and X-Jab. All right, cool. All right. So Nicholas. Actually, no. We're not going to do Nicholas. We're going to do me. I'm going to pierce this and deal three damage. One, two, three. I get retaliate one. Um, Feral does two. One, two. Nick Fury does two. One, two. What do we got? Four life left. I got so much life. So we could do Slice and Dice. And use uh, Wolverine's Claws. One, two, three. We deal three damage. One, two, three. And then deal another three. One, two, three. It wasn't pretty. But it worked. And that's all that matters sometimes. 